material on incompressible flow over finite wings. In this tutorial, we will be discussing the characteristics of an incompressible flow over finite wings. That include contents are the downwash and induced drag, vortex filament theory and laws, and classical lifting line theories. This is SMT Tutor Tube. In this video, we will be talking about the Prandtl's classical lifting line theory, a scientific breakthrough which revolutionized the field of aerodynamics. The Prandtl lifting line theory is a mathematical model outlined by Ludwig Prandtl in the early 20th century to describe the lift characteristics of finite wings and other two-dimensional lifting surfaces. Prandtl reasoned as follows, a vortex filament of strength gamma, which is somehow bound to a fixed location in a flow of so-called bound vortex, will experience a force from Kudajukowski theorem. Kudajukowski theorem equation is shown as following. This bound vortex is in contrast to a free vortex, which moves with the same fluid elements throughout a flow. Replace a finite wing of span B with a bound vortex, extending from Y is equals to negative span by 2, to Y is equals to span by 2. This is replacement of the finite, or three-dimensional wing to bound vortex, finite wing, horseshoe vortex. This vortex, one the bound plus the two free trailing vortices, is in the shape of a horseshoe and therefore is called a horseshoe vortex. This vortex, one the bound plus the two free trailing vortices, is in the shape of a horseshoe and therefore is called a horseshoe vortex. A single horseshoe vortex is shown in video, consider the downwash W induced along the bound vortex, from Y is equals to negative span by 2, to Y is equals to span by 2 by the horseshoe vortex. The equations of downwash velocity, induced along the bound vortex given by downwash velocity, W of Y, is equals to negative of gamma divided by 4 times pi times y. The contribution from the left trailing vortex trailing from negative span by 2 or negative b divided by 2. Downwash velocity, or w of y, is equals to negative of gamma divided by 4 times pi times in bracket b divided by 2 plus y. The contribution from the right trailing vortex, trailing from span by 2, or b divided by 2. Downwash velocity, or w of y, is equals to negative of gamma divided by 4 times pi times in bracket b divided by 2 minus y. Then equation of downwash velocity rearranging reduces to downwash velocity or w of y is equals to negative of gamma divided by 4 times, π 
pi times in bracket b divided by b divided by 2 squared minus y squared. Lifting Line Theory Instead of representing the wing by a single horseshoe vortex, let us superimpose a large number of horseshoe vortices, each with a different length of the bound vortex, but with all the bound vortices coincident along a single line, called the lifting line. In video figure shown, a horseshoe vortex of strength d gamma 1 is shown, where the bound vortex spans the entire wing from negative span by 2 or negative b divided by 2, from point A to point F. Superimposed on this is a second horseshoe vortex of strength d gamma 2, where its bound vortex spans only part of the wing, from point B to point E. Finally, superimposed on this is a third horseshoe vortex of strength d gamma 3, where its bound vortex spans only the part of the wing from point C to point D. As a result, the circulation varies along the line of bound vortices, the lifting line defined above. Along AB and EF, where only one vortex is present, the circulation is D gamma. However, along BC and DE, where two vortices are superimposed, the circulation is the sum of their strengths, D gamma 1 plus D gamma 2. Along CD, three vortices are superimposed, and hence the circulation is D gamma 1 plus D gamma 2 plus D gamma 3. Thus, instead of representing the wing by a single horseshoe vortex, when it is superimposing a large number of horseshoe vortices, each with a different length of the bound vortex, but with all the bound vortices coincident along a single line, called the lifting line. For the trailing vortex shown, the direction of dW at yO is upward and hence is a positive value, whereas gamma is decreasing in the y direction, making d gamma by dY a negative quantity. Velocity induced at p by the semi-infinite vortex filament is negative gamma divided by 4 times pi times h. The velocity dw at yo induced by the entire semi-infinite trailing vortex located at y. Differential of downwash velocity, or dw, is equals to negative of gamma divided by 4 times pi times in bracket y o minus y. The total velocity w induced at y o by the entire trailing vortex sheet is the summation is equals to 1 divided by 4 times pi integral from negative b divided by 2 b divided by 2 times change of negative gamma slope divided by in bracket y o minus y.
The lift coefficient for the airfall section located at Y is equals to Y is given by. From the definition of lift coefficient and from the Kudajukowski theorem, we have for the local airfall section located at Y0. The equation of the fundamental equation of Prandtl's lifting line theory is It simply states that the geometric angle of attack is equal to the sum of the effective angle plus the induced angle of attack. Effective angle of attack is expressed in terms of an induced angle of attack is expressed in terms of an integral containing d gamma divided dy. The solution gamma is equals to gamma of y obtained from the fundamental equation of Prandtl's lifting line theory gives us the three main aerodynamic characteristics of a finite wing, as follows. The lift distribution is obtained from the Kudajukowski theorem. The total lift is obtained by integrating the Kudajukowski theorem. The induced drag is obtained. small induced angle. The induced drag is obtained, total induced drag is obtained. and the induced drag coefficient. Finally, the Prandtl's classical lifting line theory has had a major impact on aircraft design. The equation developed by Prandtl makes it possible to accurately predict the lifting force of an aircraft wing section. This equation has become a crucial part of aircraft design and continues to be used today. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or feedback about the video, please don't hesitate to reach out. I'll be happy to hear from you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.